Hello guys, Bruce from Bruce's Outdoors. That means ladies also. Hey, I was down at the river the other day fishing and I saw a gentleman fishing with what I thought was a really large bobber, but it was a pool float, he told me. and He called it jug fishing or noodle fishing, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're at. And he was having a lot of fun and he was getting some nice fish. So I asked him if I could see what he was using and he showed me one. So after looking at it, I said, oh, I got to go make me one of them and try this. And all he had was, he had a piece of PVC, half inch, that was cut to two feet. And he had some caps, and he had some rebar, and he had an eye hook in one end. And what he did was, he put a cap on one end. You glue all this stuff on, I'm just showing you how to do it right now. He put the half inch rebar in there. You put your pool float over. And now you put one of the caps that has, you drill a hole in that cap so it's easier to get this eye hook in there. You push that together. You screw your eye hook here in the end. And you, you screw that all the way in and put glue on it. And uh, then you tie your line to this end you throw it in the water and it's just floating. It'll float just like this here. Now, when you get a fish on it, he pulls it and that rebar slides down here and now it stands up like this. And it's really easy to see when they're going down the river like this when you've got a nice fish on them. And it was really interesting because he had four or five going down at a time. So I'm looking forward to trying mine out. I'm gonna get these made up here and Hopefully I'll be showing you that video sometime later in this week on my pool floats or noodles or jug fishing, whatever you want to call it. I call it fun and you'll catch some nice fish. And of course, we're going to use for bait our catfish candy because as we know, those catfish love that candy. So stay tuned and as always, keep your line wet.